One. Hi, everybody. Very special night tonight. We have George T. Stagg from the Buffalo Trace Antique Collection here. Something that has been on my right radar for five years trying to get it. Never thought I could. My good buddy Riley got it for us. Thank you very much. We're all going to try it now. We're not going to, you know, resell it or leave it on the shelf and let it collect dust. We're going to enjoy it the way it's meant to be enjoyed. It's 135 proof. Um, like I said, it's from Buffalo Trace. It's widely considered one of the best bourbons you can get. And tonight we're going to find out if that's true. So uh, let's see here. All right. Pause for cork pop. Ready? All right. Very excited about this. Again, 135 proof, you know, one of the very high proof bourbons that you can try. Uh, there you go, Bill. Thank you. Captain Bill, sorry. Captain Bill. There you go, Riley, the patron. <laughs> free bonus. Now we'll get to the free bonus. Yeah. <laughs> Director Dave, who's like, uh, he's taking a day off today. Director Dave. <laughs> he's a man. First man. mate, Jeff. Thank you. And then me. So we'll get. Since we did that, I will get to the uh, the nose and the tasting very soon. Let's see. Ooh. Yeah, you, I mean, the, you know, very high proof right off the bat, but a lot of complex aromas, a lot of brown sugar, um, some, some other baking spices too, like maybe some, a little vanilla, some caramel. All spice. Ah, a lot of stuff in there. And again, and a high alcohol content. We'll, we'll see uh, see how that Kentucky hug goes. Ready? Cheers to your help. Oh my God. Whoa. Wow, that really... <laughs> Woo! It's gonna kick. Peanut gallery, easy. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it really coats the tongue. It's got a really good mouthfeel. It's Thank thick, it's viscous. I'm, I am feeling that Kentucky hug. For 135, uh, for 135 proof, it's uh, it's not. I mean, it's really good. It's you do taste the alcohol, but it's not overwhelming. I'm gonna go in for a second sip. See what we get. Mmm, that's good. It's got a long finish. Even the first sip is. I could still feel the first sip when I was taking the second sip. Second sip is way better. Yeah, I think it's 15, 15 years old, 15 years, four months or something. It's not bad. So you do taste a little oak, but it's not oaky at all. It uh, just gives it a balance. It's very balanced, complex flavor. Very, very, very good. I wish I had three more bottles, but very happy to have this one here. I feel very blessed and fortunate. And I'm up skiing with all my friends, so this is awesome. And my wife, too. Cheers. <laughs> Anyways, uh, anything else? <laughs> No? All right. Well, if you're going to drink whiskey, if you're going to drink, you might as well drink whiskey. If you're going to drink whiskey, you might as well drink bourbon. If you're going to drink bourbon, if you're going to drink American whiskey, you might as well drink bourbon. Um, I kind of screwed that up. <coughs> anyway, we're gonna the, bot that the bottom of it is like, <laughs> if you can ever get Buffalo Trace Antique Collection, get it. It's just awesome. It's the best. Cheers, everybody. Bye. Cheers.